What's up, y'all? Welcome, 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 and welcome. We about to get right to it. But before we get to it, I gotta pray over my food. I got the pancakes and bacon and the boiled egg. We're finna get to it. Just give me a minute, y'all. Finna get get this morning show going. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna tell y'all something. When locked up, don't ever think that the guards are not in control. Don't ever get locked up and think that you running the show as an inmate. That's out. Mm. You got it where I shared this story a long time ago when I first got on YouTube. When I first got on YouTube, I shared this story a long time ago. And, um, well, here you go. When you go to prison and you a gang member, um, you got to fall up under somebody if you ain't got the rank. Me? I didn't gang bang. That's just not in me. Number one, if I'm in a gang, if I was in a gang, I got to be the leader. I can't take, I can't um, follow orders. I can't take orders. I'm not a soldier. I'm a thinker. I'm a leader. So I can't fall up under nobody. I just can't. Let me tell y'all something. Sometimes gangs, and I'm not promoting no violence at all, but sometimes gangs are needed. In a lot of cities, urban cities, where you got a dope fiend daddy that's not there. And your mama sat chasing. Not taking care of you. Making sure that you financially stable. Um, you're not getting emotional support. You're going to go out and try to seek that family life. And unfortunately there's guys that's in the same situation as you are. And y'all gravitate to each other. Because y'all share kind of the same pain. Right? And with sharing that same pain, y'all form a clique. You know, y'all become a gang. Now, the problem is, when y'all form this gang, y'all cause issues in the community. You start turning to violence, being mischievous, not being... A productive citizen. What do that got to do. About he got his revenge. There was a guard. This white. Racist. Demonic piece of guard. Oh he was racist for sure. Um, he'd go around displaying this racism too against the against the brothers, particularly particularly there was a gang, the Bloods, that he hated with a passion. You see, when he grew up, the neighborhood that he grew up in, 
the Bloods dominated the area that he lived in. And they used to chase him home, beat him up, rob him, break into his house, all that, right? So naturally, he grew up hating, hating black people and especially the blood gang. So he find himself going to the academy and becoming an officer in a jail. And well, guess what he got his revenge at? There was this blood named Dasani in Columbus, Ohio. Hold up, y'all. We got Chi Chi proud to be Igbo. Welcome her, y'all. She a new member. Y'all make sure y'all shout her out. And y'all hit that like button for somebody to get hurt. Shout out to Chi Chi. A new member. So you get it where now he's he he's in power now. He's in power. So now he's finna exact vengeance on the bloods. Now you got a, a blood by the name of Dasani. Cause on the streets you will catch Dasani always with Dasani water. Actually, like this, like this Dasani water bottle right here. He always have a Dasani bottle. So they call him Dasani. You're not late. We just getting to it, JP. You're not late at all. We just get to it. What's up, Tazzy? What's up, Malik? What's up, James? What's up, Felice? What's up, Amp72, King Lord, Renee Jackson, the Gary Ganu Show, Fringes, Greg Summer, Mama, what's happening? Charlie? Charlie Sosa, what's happening? Now you got Dasani up in there. He big blood. Big blood, right? Calling shots. Being rude. Being disrespectful. Towards the administration. Well, um. When you get on the jail phone. When you get on the jail phone, y'all do know that y'all calls are being monitored. It tell you that. All calls are subject subject to and something to be monitored, right? No remember that. I'm getting my grub on, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Got the bacon. Got the pancakes. Got the boiled egg. They were like, yo, why you always eating? Because when I was locked up, when I was locked up, that's all I could think about was sex and eating. And let's not play military mind games. I was thinking about a woman, so stop playing. <laughs> Y'all hit that like button if you ain't hit that like button for somebody to get hurt. So you get it where... Hold up. Mm. So you get it where... Hold on. Hey, this food good, y'all. <laughs> they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello? So you get it where... Can I send you some food steps? Hey, I wish you could listen. Hey, listen. I, I'm going to be real. I wish I could get food steps. Now that I've been getting this YouTube money, they won't let me get no food steps. You got to turn that down. You got to turn that turn the value off. They, they won't let me get it. I got to pay out of pocket. So, Charlie... I wish I could. I wish I could, baby. Now, let's get to the story. Hold on. Let's get to the story. So, Dasani is rude, disrespectful, disrespecting the guards and everything. So, Dasani in there for domestic violence. 
he liked to put hands on his baby mama. And he was the type that he had put his hands on her. She had called the police. She won't show up to court. Same old thing, year in, year out. Well, the state said, we tired of that. We're going to pick up the case. They gave the Sonny two years. Right? Hold up. Mm. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You got to set the tone right, y'all. I hope y'all have breakfast. Mm. So, you get it where you got the officer, right? He tired of him. He disrespect him. So he hear he 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 listens to the Sonny conversation, and the Sonny still haven't learned his lesson. He calls his baby mama, and he like, man B, did you send that money? She like, listen, I'll be working. I don't, I ain't got time to be sending you money, man. I gotta take care of me and your son. Oh, Greg Ward, thank you for that. Look at Greg Ward holding down the super chat. So, um, he like, he like, B, I don't care about that, man. I'm a historian, man. I need to eat. Come on, man. Send that bread, B. And she like, look, I ain't got time. He like, man, I'll break your neck, B. I'll break your neck. So she hang up the phone. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me get it right. Here you go, y'all. He like, hey, did you send that money? No, I ain't sending it. I ain't, I'm, I'm still, I'm working. I'm trying to get it up. Man, I ain't trying to hear that, man. I need to eat up in here, man. I need to eat. Yo, Charlie. Hold up, hold on. Yo, the cash app is right there. You see the dollar sign right there? The Dante show is right there on the screen. So he like, yeah, man. Man, send that money, man, B. Send that money. She like, man, I got to take care of our son. I can't be sending you money, man. I got bills out here. Man, B, I ain't trying to hear that, man. He on the jail phone, y'all, not a cell phone. Hello? 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 Man, it's B. Right? He done threaten her and everything. Well, the sergeant that don't like him was listening to that call and ran it back. And they got they they brought him up they brought him up on terroristic threat charges. So off to the hole he go for terroristic threats. So a whole investigation happened. Where a detective go to baby mama house. Of course, she playing the fool, and like no. I don't fear for my life and all this and that. She just wait for him to kill her, really. Y'all know, y'all know there's women out there like that. But the nigga locked up and he's still causing mayhem. But anyway. So she like, no, I don't want to press charges. And he was just mad, making an excuse for this bum ass nigga. So, uh, they don't care. They still hitting the win. So he he earned himself a year in the bean, right? So that two years, now he got to serve a whole year, and and solitary confinement for terroristic threats. Now it's on. Cause when you get back there, you don't get no phone calls. You only get let out once a week to get in the shower, and if they want to put you. Outside for wreck, you in a cage, and um, you you are surrounded by concrete walls. So, uh, you ain't got no freedom. It is what it is. So he finds himself back there. Now the guard doing them dirty. The guard doing them dirty. You know when he give him in his tray, he pushing his tray in there. Food going all over the floor. 
spit and then my man fool, he'll come over there with the tray like this and spit in it and push the tray in there and do it to see it. I'm going to be real with y'all. Yeah, dude wasn't eating it. But you can only not eat for so long. So eventually, you know, he'll just pick through the food where the spit wasn't that and get to eat. Um, this is where it's about to get real crazy. I really don't want to say this right now while I'm eating, but y'all came for the show. So here it go. So time will go on where he know Dasani, Big Blood, the game banger that beat his baby mama. This is why he in here. That still ain't learned his lesson. He decide to say, okay, since I can't physically, since I can't physically put my hands on this dude, I'm a, I'm a gas him. Y'all say, what is gassing? Well, he's going to make a cocktail made of piss, feces, toothpaste, whatever he got. He put it in the bag or put it in the water bottle. Shake that joker up. Let it marinate. So when the guard came through again, what do he do? Y'all let me know in the comment section what's about to happen. So the guard walk up to the cell door. And um y'all let me know. Let me let me let me eat this eat this pork. Eat this wine. Eat this unhealthy food right quick. Hey, listen, y'all. I'll try to eat healthy, but bacon, I just can't give it up, man. I try. Now, I don't eat bacon every day, but I try to give it up. So, I, I mean, I eat it probably once a week. I don't eat um, pork chops or nothing like that or ham sandwiches. I, I just love bacon, man. I love some bacon, man. I do, but I know it ain't right for me. I know. I know. It's so good. Hmm. So, the guard, he at the door. Right? <laughs> yeah. He at the door. We talking to him, talking real greasy to him. Next thing you know, the Sonny come from behind with that bottle and go whoosh, blow the whole spot up. You talking about feces, piss, toothpaste, or in one. That's when all in dude mouth, all in his mouth, all in his nose, all in his eyes. The guard screaming, he hollering, gagging, spitting. Oh. This ain't where the story ends. This is not where the story ends. In fact, the story haven't even started yet. Oh yeah, the story haven't even started. What's that say, Charlie? Charlie Corvette Sosa. Thank you for that. You get it where, so the guard gagging, 
eyes watering up, all that, right? I'm going to tell y'all what's about to happen. After he get after he cleaned himself up, the medical staff say, "Yo, you wanna get checked out?" Nah, not right now. I want to be a part of the extraction team to get him out of here. I'm pulling rank. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Told y'all this story before. Well, I guess I'm about to tell y'all again. When they cuffed him up, or when they went in there, they beat the living hell out of him. They beat him. Beat him. About seven guards went in there and whipped him out. They matched him out. After they matched him out, they handcuffed him and let him out the cell. He was able to walk. Now, this was the time when I was in the hole. So I could see the stairwear. So I was an eyewitness of what happened. And yeah, we wrote letters to the governor. But I'm going to tell y'all something. You don't think they reading y'all mail? Y'all don't think that these guards is going to allow you to write something that could get them in trouble? Oh, oh, here you go. I'm having issues in here, man. Here you go. Write a grievance. Here's a grievance. Write it. Write it on here on this paper. You know what they're going to do? Throw it right in the trash. So, this is what I see with my own two eyes. When they had him by the stairs. It's a flight of stairs, y'all. A flight of stairs. About 12 stairs going down. The leading dude that got gassed, he turned him around. So now, Dasani back is turned to the stairwell. So, I don't know what was said. I don't know what Dasani did. I don't know. It was said that Dasani spit in his face. But what happened next, y'all? Stay tuned. Let me finish eating this. Because it's about to get crazy. What I'm about to tell y'all... It's straight out of a horror movie. I told this story before. Oh, Big Tuna. Big Tuna just dropped a hundred dollar piece on us, y'all. Shout out to Big Tuna. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. This is what I seen. I didn't see him spit, but I wasn't close enough to see it. But what I saw with my own two eyes. Now remember, y'all, the Sonny back is turned to the stairwell. The flight is stared into his back. At first, at first he was being led forward. Then when they got to the top of the stairwell, he was turned. So his back was towards the um stairwell. And all I just seen him go, boom. He pushed him. He pushed him. He pushed the Sonny. He pushed him. Let me get the beer right. Let me get the beer right. Why y'all didn't tell me I have food in my beer? Come on, y'all. Y'all grinding in the mug. You know, I got it. So, again, he pushed him just like this. Bam. Dasani went backwards and he hit and he fell down the stairs. When his head hit, I don't know what stairwell he hit, 
I don't know, did his head hit the cement? But I heard a crack noise. It was like 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 an egg being cracked, like like crack, something like that. Then I heard him whimpering. Then I heard this female guy, this female guard was like, What did you do? What did you do? Dasani did not die. Richard Bennett, thank you for that, baby. Dasani didn't die. He was a pair. Y'all know I'm tongue tied. He was a paraplegic, if I said that right. Paralyzed from the neck down. A paraplegic. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Before we go on with this story, we got over a hundred and seven people in the building. And we only got 58 likes. I done warned y'all before. I done warned y'all before. Now I'm at now I'm gonna have to start applying pressure and getting real aggressive and start moving that blade. When you pull up on the Dante show, right? And I'm live in full effect. It's your job immediately to hit that like button. Somebody that didn't hit that like button, there's over 40 people that didn't hit that like button that's tuned in, that's going to get hurt. This is not no threat. I do not condone violence. However, the blade will be pushed on you criminals that decide to pull up and listen to my big mouth and don't hit the like button, you grimy. Something wrong with you. Something ain't right upstairs. Now, if you can't hit the like button due to a malfunction with your device or something, cool. But you can't sit up there and tell me that there's over 30 people that haven't hit that like button. Somebody going to get hurt. I told y'all I don't condone violence, but it comes a time where you just can't, where you can't talk it out no more. It's, it, it comes a time where I always seek peace. I tell y'all all, all the time. I always seek peace, but sometimes when you can't seek peace, then it gotta be war. Then it gotta violence only respect violence. So now I gotta get violent. So who didn't hit the like button? Matter of fact, we about to do roll call. It's time for me to establish dominance. Type one in the comment section if you hit the like button. If you didn't hit the like button, show yourself right now and press two. Put two, press two in the comment section if you didn't hit the like button. If you hit the like button, press one. Get this roll call now. We gotta figure it out. We gotta weed it. We gotta weed out the the, the Judas. Who, where's the Judas at in the comment section? I see a whole bunch of ones, but there's a Judas amongst us, y'all. We got to figure it out. We got to figure it out. Who didn't hit the like button? This is participation. Oh, Divert Taylor. All right, y'all, we got a Judas. We got it. We got it. We got a Judas. Let's see. Who ain't hit the like button. We should have a minimum of 90 likes. A minimum. We got one Judas in the building, y'all. Divert. I'm not comparing myself to Christ at all. But we got a Judas in the building. We got a couple of them. Omani. There's a, o, Omani is another Judas. Come on, y'all. Let, let's Come on. You know what? I'm going to tell y'all, y'all remember when Jesus came to the temple and he said, y'all to turn my father's house into a den of thieves? And Jesus came in there with that whip and got to turn over the tables and got to pushing that blade on the Pharisees and everybody that was dealing in God's house. I'm telling y'all, somebody going to get hurt. 
I don't condone violence, but somebody gonna pay for not hitting that like button. Somebody gotta die. If it gets to that, then what on Rocky Five? What what the Russian says? If he dies, he dies. Y'all better hit that like button. I'm not gonna keep sitting up here begging for y'all to hit the like button. Why do it seem like every time I go live, 95 percent of the content is me? Threatening people to hit the like button. I'm tired of threatening people. Now I'm tired of talking. Now we're going to have to up the ante and violence going to have to be displayed. I don't condone violence, but when, 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 you, when you try to talk, when you try to talk and people just don't want to hear you, well then you got to up the ante and we got to display violence. Now I got to be the Neanderthal. We got 95 likes, so we, we there, y'all. We there. Any new people that's coming in, if I find out you ain't hit the like button, I'm going to come visit you, and it ain't going to be nothing good. It ain't going to be nothing good. Y'all going to bring me back to the old me, the old ways. And I don't want to do that. It's Friday. It's 11.29 a.m. Come on, y'all. Let's get it together. I ain't got. I, I should not have to be doing that, man. Well, let's get back to it. I done spent. I could have finished the whole story by now. But I bought a band. They want to play these military mind games. Y'all know that it's mandatory. Mandatory. And when you come in, you got to hit that like button. If of all things, before you even write anything in the comment section, hit the like button. YouTube is not pushing my videos out no more like they used to. It's power when y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit the like button and tell YouTube like, yeah, we like listening to Dante One is big mouth. So let's Push his butt back to the algorithm. Come on, y'all. Let's go. We got 104 likes. We good, y'all. Now let's get back to it. So he pushed him. He pushed him down the stairs. He was paralyzed from the neck down. The guard, of course, says that he failed. He snatched away. No. I've seen it. I was approached. And I got the writing letters. I wrote a letter to the governor. That didn't go nowhere. I wrote a letter to the warden. And the warden come spoke to me. I can't say what the conversation was about. But um, we just going to say this. Sometimes, and I'm just saying sometimes, you can't, you cannot, you got to mind your business sometimes. I know, I know y'all going to say, yo, Dante, come on, man, why you ain't blow the whistle? Well, here's the thing. If I kept pushing and pushing and bumping, I might not be here to talk to y'all about this story. When you locked up. And you behind the walls. Your hands are in the your 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 fate is in the hands of these guards. They will do things in there to make it seem like that you suicidal. They will pay a lifer or somebody that just don't care about life at all and don't care about you or nothing. They'll pay him or give him special privileges to go in there and take your life. Um. Some people would say, well, I can fight. I can fight real good, right? Here's the thing. If you're a big guy and you can fight real good, they'll starve you out. We'll give you some water every day and a half a piece of bread that we done stepped on. Literally, you'll see the, the, the boot print on your bread. So I smashed up. And we'll give you a half a thing of water, a half a glass of water every day. We'll starve you out. 
You need nutrients. You need um to consume food to get energy. Right? So they will starve your ass out. You can fight? Cool. That's cool. We we'll starve you out. After about two or three days of you just eating a half a thing of bread for the whole day, a half piece of bread and a half a thing of water, you're going to be too weak to fight. Now what you going to do? Your punches ain't going to mean nothing. They're going to be slow. They're going to be weak. Then they're going to rip you out. They got something for everybody. They got something for everybody. Now I'm going to tell you all something. It's some things in life that um, a lot of people just not going to understand that never been locked up before. And you don't you didn't even have to go to prison. And you just did county time. But if you did enough county time, you do understand that this world it's a crazy world that exists inside a crazy world. Right? Um oh they brought me in the elevator with no cameras to stump me. Hey, Robert, where you from? Cause that happened to me. When they were banging me to the hole, they had me in the in the elevator, and I couldn't do nothing but try, just break for the punches. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, New York. Okay, I'm telling you, man. Prison ain't no joke, man. I told myself this, y'all. I said two things. Two things when I got locked up. I said, I'm not going to die in here. And I'm not going to be gay. That's it. That was the only two things. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to lose my life in here. And I'm not going to be gay. That's it. Outside of that, whatever comes with it, comes with it. So, hold up. I seen a guard. And let me tell y'all something. A lot of these, I, I'm not going to say... Hey, hold up, uh, 4321. Stop playing military mind games, man. You trying to be funny. You trying to be funny. Yeah, let me tell y'all what he said, basically. I caught what he said. I said that I told myself two things before I got locked up. I said I'm not going to die, and I'm not going to be gay. <laughs> And four three two one, Super Chris said, "Well, you didn't die." So what you mean? What exactly are you trying to say? I'm trying to figure that out. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't gotta be up. Let me tell you something, um, Super Chris. Before I push that blade on you, let me tell you something. We ain't gonna sit up here and play military mind games, right? There ain't nothing. And when I say nothing, there's nothing that's in my brain, my broken brain, that would allow me to look at a man like I look at a woman. All right? You, you, um, 4321 Super Chris, you might rock and roll that way. All right? <laughs> we about to play these military mind games. I'm only one way. I'm meat and potatoes. I like it, I like it one way, and that's it, so we not about to sit up here and play like, oh, Dante was in there, man, cut, we ain't about to play them type of games, remember like I said, I told myself two things, I'm not going to die in here, and I'm not going to be gay, and that's the bottom line, now y'all hit that like button, if y'all already haven't hit that like button yet. Super Chris talking about you talking about we gonna name you super freaky. 
I have to only do this whole message just to do this whole message, do this whole story. The only thing you zero in on, oh, now I'll tell you, oh, he ain't died, so he was gay. That's the only thing you got out of this whole thing. That's cool. What's that? This a real one? This a real one. I'm a big fan, Dante. Keep doing your thing, and you look super high. I'm not high. I'm not high. I promise I'm not. I'm not high. I'm not high at all. I'm fully up. I'm fu no. I got bags under my eyes because I'll be working a lot, producing this content for y'all. I'm not high at all. I just. I'm just lack of sleep. Talking about drunk, man. I ain't drunk. Cut it out. No. Nah. Black Hippie, I don't play them type of games at all. At all. No. Nah. I'd rather stick to my right hand and some lotion. That's it. We ain't about to play them type of games at all. Hey, what they do is what they do. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't want my name applied to none of that foolishness. I don't want it to be no thoughts. So that right there is another thing I got to tell y'all too. Because some of these people be getting this twisted. So you got it where when I was locked up, okay, I came in as a Christian man and I was not going to convert to be a Muslim, right? I am who I am. Um, me being who I am, I could not be housed with a punk. I couldn't be housed with a gay guy. Um, not because I'm homophobic or anything like that, but here I go. Well, it's like this. Birds of a feather flock together. Let me say that again. Birds of a feather flock together. Mr. Magic, thank you for that. No homo. Birds of the feather flock flock together. So here I go pushing this Jesus line and pushing the gospel and then I'm up in here laid up with a homosexual. No, it don't work that way. It don't work that way at all. Uh-uh. It don't work that way at all. So here I go preaching the gospel and I got a homosexual in there. Now, there's nothing wrong with a homosexual. Uh, well, it, it is, but that ain't that kind. Of, this ain't for that. There's nothing wrong with um a man being that way for whatever reason he is. That ain't none of my business. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But me being who I am, I can't be associated with people like that, especially being in my cell. Because you got dudes out there gossiping like women, right? You get dudes in there gossiping like, oh, Dante out here trying to talk about Jesus and God. But he in there breaking his punk off in the cell. I know that nigga just, he ain't just in there just letting him sleep. I know he probably in there creeping with him too. Come on, man. These are these are the things, that's how rumors get start. And we all know when, when, when a little lie gets some legs, it take off. So I didn't need that type of negative press and negative attention getting put on me. There's a couple there's a couple things you do not call a man while locked up. You don't call him gay, you don't call him a snitch, right? You don't call him gay and you don't call him a snitch. Because you can lose your life over something like that. So me, I wanted I didn't want to have zero dealings with it at all. See, Jonathan Post, let me talk to you, brother. There you go again, and correct me if I'm wrong. You think I'm gay bashing, huh? When you locked up, again, because Jonathan, you ain't the only one that don't, that don't understand. When locked up in prison, in jail, this is not no negotiation. This is not a negotiation. This is not a democracy. When locked up, it's different rules than the free world. Do what you do out here in the free world, okay? 
That's your right to do whatever you want. If you want to rock and roll with men like that, do that. I don't care. I'm not in your bedroom. I do not care. But while locked up in prison, uh-uh. That's a big no-no. Like I said, birds of the feather flock together. If you're not, if I'm, if you're a straight man, you cannot be in a cell with a gay guy, cause they're gonna put that on you. They will put that gay jacket on you, and that's gonna hold, open up a whole can of worms, right? You might get dudes just looking at you like, yo, man, he's soft. How you got a punk in the cell with him? And he didn't get that punk off that cell. Oh, he got to be soft. So, yeah, I owe Dante a couple suits, but I ain't going to pay him because he's soft. He got a punk in the cell, and he know that he claimed that he's straight, but he got a punk in the cell, man. He punking that punk, man. I ain't giving that nigga nothing. Let me tell you something, Jonathan Post. Like I said, I'm not in your, I'm not in your bedroom. I give zero craps about what you do in your bedroom. But behind them bars, oh, you can't be in there with me. That ain't happening. That's out. You got to go. Because I'm not about to get caught up in no mess. And if and Jonathan Post, obviously you never been locked up before. And being behind them walls. Because you obviously don't know. You don't know prison politics. At all. So, get out of here with all that foolishness. Now, again, I'm not saying that you got to be ashamed of your sexuality. To be honest, I don't really give a damn what a nigga do in a bedroom. I don't care. But you are not going to put that homosexual jacket on me. That's out. We in 2023. I got a big mouth. I think by now, I think by now, Dante would have been exposed already because I got a big mouth. Now, somebody would have done made a video. Somebody would have said, oh, he lied. He was doing this. He was doing that. I think I got a big mouth by now that y'all know what time it is. But Jonathan, listen, I'm not I'm not glorifying jail or nothing like that at all. I'm just letting you know that um, prison rules is different from the outside. Let me tell you something. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to the the audience now. We rocking and rolling with the audience. And don't worry, y'all. This all love. We, 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 we all love. It's all love out here. He said, can you please chew with your mouth closed? No disrespect. I love the story, but with headphones and all, and all that smacking. Let me tell you something, um, Christopher Miller. Let me, let me tell you something, Christopher um, Miller. Miller, whatever your name is. Breakfast is the most important part. Um, of the day. Right now, I'm eating my fuel to, to make my videos and content for y'all today. You are not going to sit up here and dictate to me what I can and what I cannot do. If I want to take some bacon and put it in my big mouth and talk while I'm eating, that's what I'm going to do. You ain't going to sit up here and tell me what I can and what I cannot do. I'm gonna tell you something. If I catch you, Christopher Miller, and I don't, I don't condone violence. But if I catch you, and you got them headphones on, listening to the Dante show, I'm a, I'm a lean on you. I'm a lean on you, and that's all I'm gonna say. But you do not tell me what I can and what I cannot do. I gotta eat. Y'all don't want me to be out here feeling all faint. Somebody already said that I be looking high and drunk. Y'all better chill out. But shout out to you, uh, Christopher Miller. 
talking about I can't I can't eat my food the way I want to eat my food. Do I tell you? Do do I go all up in your house and tell you to stop smacking when you be eating the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? It ain't nothing wrong with the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Velvet, thank you for that. Gary Florin, thank you for that. I don't I don't I don't tell you how to eat your food, do I? So you ain't gonna tell me how to eat my food. What's wrong with you? Hold up. Scarlet, my girl. I can't spare the blade. Scarlet, I can't spare the blade on you, my beautiful queen. You got to get it too, baby. I can't deal with your eating and attitude. If you want your channel to grow, you need to be nice to your viewers and take their recommendations into account. Scarlet, you know I love you. And I never, ever want to ever push the blade on a woman. A beautiful woman at that. But Dante is, has no respect of, of a person. A baby girl, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this one time and one time only. All right? When I was locked up, the only thing I thought about was food and sex. Okay? I could have somewhat one, but the other, that was out. I love to eat. This is Dante's morning show. Unfortunately, it's breakfast time. So, oh, don't worry. We almost, I'm down to the last pancake. It's right there. Mmm. There you go. Now, since y'all endured, yeah, I, I know she kidding. I know she kidding. Since y'all endured me smacking and running my big mouth, we all moved to the end of me eating. Hmm. All right, we we there. Let me make sure. Let, let me make sure I'm right. Ronnie Slaughter said, "What up, though? Keep up the great channel and stories. You ain't real one, my guy. Keep up the good work, or we gonna have to push that blade. Your blade has been spared. The blade has been spared many times. Okay." Many times, Scarlet. Today, I exhibit mercy, and the blade will be withheld from you. However, um, uh, the blade will be pushed the next time. Good stories, though. Keep up the good work. It helps me pass the time at work, and this is why I do this, Christopher. Oh, the bacon, the bacon is gone. I'm done now. So, basically, oh, there's a note that I want to show y'all something. It said, final warning. <laughs> Look, hold up. I want to show y'all something, too. Um, I dropped a video last night. I Actually, I dropped two videos, maybe even three. Hold up. Let me see. I dropped a video last night. Um... I want to show y'all something too, cause people, I don't think people be understanding um, my methods of what I do on the channel. So let me show y'all something. All right. So, so you got the prison stories right here, okay? This is the prison stories. These are all the prison stories. This is the live videos. This is all 
my past live videos. This is the skits right here. This right here is Prison Stories Classics with music. A lot of y'all say, oh Dante, we don't like the music. But then a lot of y'all do say y'all like the music. So I made a, a special playlist for the people that like the music. And so it's not that I'm re-uploading re old videos. I'm just putting the music on the old videos and, and re-uploading it for the people that like it. So if y'all haven't seen the last video that I dropped was the full video of Sweet Low Prison Story. If y'all haven't seen that video, y'all make sure y'all check that out. The Muslim got his revenge um, is right here. That's the one with the music. So here's the music on it. This guy was a foreigner and he was a Muslim. So I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. So I seen him off to the distance by himself or whatever. So I go in there and I'm looking around to find me a bunk bed. And the word is that you, if if all the bunks is taken and somebody and somebody got stuff at the top and nobody's sleeping up there, you supposed to get that bunk. But somebody might feel like, yo, you gonna have to fight for that. I'm not moving my stuff from up there for you. So again, y'all, um, if y'all see a thumbnail, just read it. It say it said right there, the Muslim got his revenge in prison classic with music you don't see no other video that got classic with music okay so i'm re-uploading the prison stories with the music on it for the people that love that music right there so if you see a video that don't got a thumbnail on it and just just got me like this read the description it says classic with music all right Y'all get that? Type 1 in the comment section if y'all like the music. Type 2 if y'all don't like the music. Type 1 in the comment section if y'all like the music. Type 2 if you don't like the music. Uh-uh. Y'all can't keep pressing the same button. You only get one. Like You, you know like uh, when the Catholics um, push that tray around. With the bread and um and the juice. Don't be greedy, y'all. I gotta tap your hand. Don't be greedy. Only hit it one time. I see all these tools. Come on, y'all. Stop being greedy. Don't be double dipping in there. You just put a one or two. Stop being greedy. Okay. Yeah, vote, vote, vote only once. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let, let's not do that. So type one if you like the music. Type two if you don't. Now, it look like a mixed bag. It, it look like um, it's like half and half. But this is why, y'all, because without y'all, it would be no me. Okay? Without y'all, it would be no it will be no me. So um, this is why I ask for y'all input. Even though, I'm going to tell y'all right now, when I'm hungry, I'm hungry. That ain't never going to stop because I, when I'm home, I don't be eating through the story times. I only eat through the lies because I be hungry. Do y'all not want me to eat? I can't eat. I can't eat. Come on, man. I can't eat. Y'all, y'all are foul. Y'all cold-blooded. I can't eat? Wow. But, um, yeah, this this is why, again, so for the new people that's coming in and don't understand what's going on, the prison stories that got thumbnails don't have the music. The prison stories that, that don't have, I mean, hold, I said that backwards. The prison stories that have the thumbnails don't have the music. The prison stories that have the music have no thumbnails. In fact, if you go to the home page, right, which this is the home page, here's the prison stories. Here's the live videos. Here's the um, skits right here. 
And then at the bottom is the Prison Stories Classics with music. So you would know it is a classic with music if it got music on it. So if you don't like the music, don't click on it, okay? Um, I got two other channels, too, down here, too, y'all. Crazy People Channel. Y'all know what that's about. We got 3,000 people over there subscribed to it. Um... And the Nobody's Podcast. The first video that's getting dropped over here on the Nobody's Podcast will be coming out this Sunday. Okay, this Sunday at 5 o'clock, the first episode of the podcast will be getting dropped this Sunday at 5 o'clock over there. Uh, I have to get, I, I uploaded the prison stories and some other content over here to get some traffic going. But we got enough subscribers over here. We got 46. Actually, this channel is bigger than the main channel. That's crazy. This channel got 46,000 subscribers. And it's not even the main channel. But um, the podcast first episode will be coming this Sunday at 5 o'clock. So y'all be ready for that. If you ain't subscribed over here, make sure you subscribe. Because y'all ain't going to want to miss that. Um... Oh, dang, all this time I didn't even show it. Hold on. Hold on. You said the volume low is is back up, my bad. I didn't even show y'all that dang it. Hold up. Hold up. All this time I'm running my mouth again and not even seeing. Alright, let me show y'all how to get here right quick. So if you wanna Okay, this is the Crazy People channel. This is my other channel right here, y'all. We got 3,000 people over there. Um, this is the Crazy People channel where we go on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and find people acting crazy, and we put it out there. That's that. Um, the other channel, which is the podcast channel, is called the Nobody's Podcast. Um, we got 46,000 people over there. That subscribe. The first episode will be dropping this Sunday at five o'clock. Okay, I uploaded these prison stories on here to drive the traffic over here, but I'm not dropping no more prison stories over here. No more. It's just going to be strictly the podcast. Um, people, I had some questions. People was emailing me saying, "Yo, why did you name it the Nobody's Podcast?" Well, um. I named it the Nobody's Podcast because Dante is a nobody, okay? I'm not no rapper. I'm not no singer. I'm not no actor. Um, I'm a nobody. But uh, just because I'm a nobody, uh, hold on. Uh, just because I'm a nobody today, that don't mean that I might not end up being a somebody tomorrow, right? So I figure, hold on, the volume's still down. Hold on, can your, your volume is low? Hold up, hold on. What the heck going on? Hold on. Is the volume still down? Can y'all hear me good? Can y'all hear me good? Okay. Hey, um, hold on. I just seen a comment I need to address right quick. Don't worry, y'all. I ain't about to go hard on nobody. Um, where is it at? Where is it at? Somebody said... Do you got any Georgia stories? Oh, yes. But they're not going to be called Georgia stories. They're going to be called Atlanta stories, all right? Trust me, y'all is not going to... Actually, that's the first podcast episode is going to be about that. Y'all, trust me. Y'all better make sure y'all subscribe over there because I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, Ronnie Slaughter, I don't know. But I know one thing. Um, this Sunday, y'all ain't going to want to miss it. Um... Felice Shannon, thank you for that. Velvet, thank you for that. Gary Florin, thank thank you for that. Yep. And listen, y'all, I can read I I can read what y'all say. Um in the comments. Say, when y'all when y'all bless the Cash App and y'all leave a message, I do get to read y'all message, but I can't write y'all back on here. I don't know why they got it set up like that. But I do be getting y'all messages too. Yep, I got I got it, Velvet. 
Yep. Yeah. So, uh, hold on. Yeah. So yeah, this Sunday, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all ain't gonna want to miss. Y'all are not gonna want to miss that first episode. It's gonna be crazy. So yeah, um, back to the Nobody's Podcast. Y'all see that logo right there? Right there. Tommy, yeah. My tech guy, Tommy, he over there in the studio sleeping in, sleeping in my bed right now. My studio bed. He burnt the midnight oil getting these videos done. Um, Yeah, so the Nobody's Podcast is basically... um. I came up with that concept because I'm a nobody. And one day when I do get famous, um, I still feel like I'm a nobody. Because who is really a somebody? When we all are human, and I don't say that in a negative way. Um, I say that in a way that um, that we all, we all are on the same we all are on the same, um, we all are made up of the same material. When you strip this skin off and go to the next layer, we all got bones, veins, blood, muscle tissue, all that, right? Um, so there's nobody better than the other in that sense. And I feel like, like I, t I tell y'all all the time, without y'all, it would be no me, right? So... I'm buying another phone here today, and I'm gonna give y'all the number so y'all can do the call in. So y'all gonna be a y'all will be a part of my um podcast. So we are gonna keep it to maybe we it, it, we ain't just gonna be talking about prison stuff. You we get enough of that over here. We can talk about aliens. We can talk about ghosts. We can talk about um. CERN, Project Blue Bean, the Dose. We could talk about the aliens at Area 51. We could talk about vampires. We could talk about who is the mo who more scarier, Michael Myers or Freddy Cougar. We could do all that. We can we listen. It don't matter what it is. We gonna do it all over there. All right. So we gonna have fun over there. It ain't gonna be all serious and stuff like that. So I am gonna get a phone just for y'all for the podcast for y'all to call in and um we gonna get to it and i'm gonna tell y'all this again please for the trolls out there the last time i gave y'all the number y'all ruined it y'all ruined it do not please do not blow that phone up please don't um they cut the line I wasted eighty dollars on this phone line, and 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 come on, y'all, y'all can't do me like that. Now I'm gonna try it again, cause I'm doing it for the people, but y'all can't violate me like that again. Y'all cannot violate me like that again. Please don't violate me. I'm gonna give y'all the number again. Um, this Sunday we gonna work it out, and that's what it's gonna be. Um. Let, let's let's get to the comment section. Okay, Christopher said you got a Georgia story. Yes, we're gonna be talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about the Atlanta story today. Friday, bro, get high for four minute, one life to live. No, I'm gonna tell you something. This is why I don't get high. I'm gonna be real. I don't get high. I don't drink. However, please stay with me. Stay with me. If I do get high. Is because I'm stressed all the way out. I'm not a weed smoker and I and I'm not a drinker at all. Number one, because I'm too paranoid. I'm always I gotta stay on my P's and Q's. Um I gotta stay ready. And this is not a cliche. This is a real prison term and this is real. Okay? I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. When my brother, one of my brothers, right? A Flint Town Detroit demon. He told me one day. He said, "Man, bro, you be slipping. You be slipping." I'm like, "What you talking about now?" He like, "You be just 
all out here in a Mustang in a drop top. And you, you just be out here slipping. So I pulled up on him. And he like, yeah, you, you be out here slipping, man. I'm like, all right, whatever. He like, man, no, because somebody could just come up to you, do anything to you. I'm like, first of all, number one, and y'all, I'm, I'm this right here is all fabricated. This is fiction. What I'm about to tell y'all is all lies. Okay, what, what everything that's coming out my mouth from here on out is a is a lie. Okay, it's a big lie. So I'm like, you think I'm slipping? And you know, I got the you know what right there on my lap. It's just my shirt was covering. I was like, ain't nobody getting a drop on me. I'm always sober. My head is always like an owl. I keep it on the swivel. I'm always constantly watching. If I think somebody, first of all, number one, I don't think I have no enemies, okay? I don't got beef with nobody. I don't go out in the world causing confrontations and being confrontation and having um, drama and all of that. That ain't me. I'm a laid back, chill dude. Anybody that know me in real life know that, okay? But still, um, when I'm in Chicago, when I'm in Flint, when I'm in Detroit, when I'm in Hotlanta, right? Um, I'm always watching because you never know. Somebody might think that you somebody that you're not. Mistaken identity. Um, so I always, I'm always watching. If I think somebody following me, I'm going to bust a right. Then I'm going to bust another right. And then I'm going to bust another right. If they hit three rights on me, then I'm going to have to, you know what, that's just what it is. Now somebody following me, and we're going to have to get an understanding real fast, okay? Because, yo, we only got one life to live, and I'll be damned if I, I'm, not, I'm not going out. My kids are not grown yet. They can't fend for themselves. So, yeah, that's just what it is. Um... So, yeah, my brother telling me, like, yeah, you be you be out here slipping. I said, first of all, you wouldn't be able to get up on me like that. And if you did get up on me like that, you know, it, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. If it's my time, it's my time, right? Um, But here he go, about two weeks after that, I come over there to where he, where he at, and here he go. Passed out, hiding a mug off that lean, right? With his gun out. He had a tech nine just out, laid up on the stairs. And I'm looking at him like, but you talking about me. You talking about me slipping. And look at you. So I grab his gun and take the clip out of it and take the one out the head. And I wake him up like, man, dude, get up. He looking at me crazy like, man, what, what's going on? I said, man, dude, get up. So I helped him to the house and laid him on the couch. And I'm like, yeah, but, but yeah, all right, all right, but I'm sleeping. Got gotcha. you. So my point of telling y'all that is, um, yes, I do smoke weed, but I don't. I have to be really, really stressed out. You know, just so stressed out that I just need just a, you know what I'm saying? I just need a, I just got to. I just gotta, I just gotta, um, I don't know, take the edge off, you know, and that goes with alcohol too. Um, I don't drink. If I do drink, I'ma have like a, a, a smearing off, like a, what they call a girly drink. I hate the taste of alcohol, right? I hate the taste of alcohol. Alcohol is nasty. Hennessy, Patron, all that is disgusting. Give me a fruity drink. No homo. Stop playing military mind games, y'all. If I'm going to drink something, you know, um, I'm only doing to take the edge off. Or if I really want to feel good, uh, you know what I'm saying, of me and my lady trying to take it, you know, up the ante just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I might I might take a shot of, of something real nasty that, you know, some of that cheap stuff. That cheap liquor that gets you toe up after one or two shots. I might dial my one, two, and, you know, just to get right. But outside of that, I mean, come on, y'all. Stop playing. Y'all act like y'all don't be doing it, man. Y'all cut it out. Out here got me out here on display judging me, throwing stones at me. We ain't doing that. So, yeah, I might take two or three shots of some cheap 
right to get right, but it's rare. It's very rare that you will catch Dante drinking. Because I'm always paranoid. I'm always... Um, I'm always just on point, man. You got to. Because... Um, the world is... The world is a beautiful place. The earth is a wonderful place. But... Unfortunately, there's people out here in the world that is not so kind. There's some people in this world that just don't want to do right. There's some people in this world that woke up on the wrong side of the floor. And I ain't say the bed. I said the flow. They got a chip on their shoulder. Right? And um, th this, is, this is just survival, man. Every day you walk out, I tell y'all all the time, look. I tell y'all all the time. Y'all see that lion in the back right there? I'm going to tell y'all why I got that lion in the back. Uh, for the people that know me, y'all know why. I keep that lion in the back to remind me that the scripture says, the scriptures, the holy, the holy scripture says that Satan roams. Satan roams like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour. Right? So I stay on point. To know that Satan is out there. And he, he always behind me. Waiting to devour me. So with being said that. He's on the other side. Oh god dang. Hold on man. Is it this way? Well y'all see it. Y'all see it. <laughs> so. <laughs> so um, that just. That is, it's like that. When we leave outside of our homes. That's what it is, y'all. That's what it is. Um, and let me tell y'all something. Uh-uh, you can't be on the live. You definitely can't be in the live. What is it? What is it? What you want? I don't like. Ronnie, them at school. They do. Yeah, they at school. That's my three-year-old son. He come up here talking about his older brother asking where Riley at. Ronnie is at school. Go on back downstairs. <laughs> so, uh, and no, Larry did not pay me back. Actually, Larry is downstairs right now. Larry is downstairs right now. Larry is downstairs with my auntie and my wife and one of my sisters. He downstairs right now. He ain't giving that bread up. Um, I ain't tripping about it, you know. I'm going to tell y'all something about family, man. You love them, but you hate them at the same time. What what, what can you do about it? What, what, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? We got a snowstorm um, about to happen in Michigan today. I was thinking about heading down there to Atlanta this week but um it ain't seem like it's gonna be working out so I gotta I just went shopping and um all that stuff cause I we about to get about five or six inches of the snow so you know I got stocked up and everything but um yeah um y'all just be careful out there man Y'all be careful, cause um, you it it only take one mistake. It only takes one time to make one mistake that can alter your life. You can you can you can do good all your life, no problems, no issues. And you make one mistake, and you can end up getting a life sentence. What the guard get, he end up stepping down. He ended up stepping down when that um, pressure ended up really getting on him. He ended up resigning. Um, I know his wife left him. His wife left him. It's raining like a mug in Indianapolis, huh? Yeah, Miss Texas T. He, um, his wife left him. I know he um, resigned, and um, that's the only thing I know. I can't tell you Larry's last name. 
Oh, King, you might. Hey, King, did you say you went um to Northwestern? You might know Larry if you went to Northwestern. Um, where is the 420 at? I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Ari? What's up, Alex? Hey, y'all, we finna do roll call. Let me know where y'all from so I can shout y'all out. And we gonna wrap it up because I gotta get, I got to, uh, get to working on this content, these stories for y'all. You missed a lot, Denzel. You missed a lot. Nah, um, King, uh, nah, this was at Northwestern. Larry, um, I can't put, it's my cousin. We share the same last name, but I can't put that last name out there. But, yeah, we got Covington in the building, y'all. Let's, all right, y'all, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Sun Drop from from Columbus. Um, who, who we got up in here? Hold on, hold on. Denzel from Long Island, New York, y'all. My dude, John Tepos from Covington, Georgia, in the building. Hey, in Covington, I, I lived at, um, when I stayed in, in Georgia, in Covington, I stayed in Ford's Villa. Or was that in Conyers? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, uh, John Tepos, is, is Ford's Villa in Covington or is it in Conyers? I forgot, I forget which one. But I stayed in, I know I stayed in Covington. I'm thinking it is Ford's Villa. Rockdale County, is that Conyers? I think it is. So we gonna just gloss over them wild Irish roll shots. No, nah, Ronnie Slaughter. Hey, I don't drink, man. We ain't gonna end it. We not gonna end the live yet. Let's rock out, y'all. We rocking out. Ronnie, I don't drink, man. I don't know nothing about no wild Irish roll shots. Nothing that I'm not no alcoholic, man. Little Rock, Arkansas in the building. R. Allen, Black Keepy from Virginia. Oh, where well, the weather is real nice, huh? Bill Bellamy, y'all, from Harlem, New York. Marcus J. Marcus from Lorraine, Ohio. Terry Scott, y'all, from Wisconsin. Who else up in here? We got my man Roddy Slaughter from Detroit. That great 313. Give me 420 from Pennsylvania. I've never been to, I've never been to Pennsylvania. I'm going to have to check that out. We got Long Beach in the house. From Long Beach and Right? We got King Jaquan from the, from from Beach of Bucktown. Hey y'all, let me tell y'all something. Um, here here's a crazy thing. So, where where King Jaquan from in the con, in the comment section? I I'm not gonna say I grew up there, but I went to school there. I went to this school called um um. Dang, how did I forget the name of the school? Dequan, what's the what's the high school there now? Um, no, not Nolan. That's Detroit. Um, Dolan, yeah, Dolan. So I went to Dolan, right? Dolan Middle slash High School. Cause when I got there, it was in middle school in a high school. Man, I got some stories for y'all. Is my man um Rodney in the comment section from Beecher from the book? You in here too? Rodney, let me know if you in the building. Because me and him were just talking about this the other day, man. Hey, Beecher was crazy, man. That These ghetto bad schools. I'm just I'm just thinking about all the good times I done had there. Okay. I see you, Jonathan Post, Rock Dealers, and Kanye's. Okay, I got you. Um, J.P. Gills from PA2. Christopher Miller. From Rome, Georgia, y'all. Marmar from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Drake Cash is from that great Cali. That California love, y'all. No homo. Stop playing games. Jim Bellamy, y'all. Who else up in here? Um, St. Damon from Pittsburgh. Who else? Who else? Who else? Ronnie, is is that you, Ronnell? Uh, is that who you is on here? And the Rondell that I'm talking about is the one that I was talking to on the phone last week. Is, is that you? Charlie Corvette, there's no blades in Miami. We have guns. Okay. King Crazy. Yeah. 
Can't you eat before you get on damn all that slurping and smacking? You know how old that was? I haven't ate and then drunk in a minute. What are you talking about, Cheryl? Cheryl, what are you talking about? But you know what, y'all? Y'all are right. Y'all are right. Maybe I, maybe, just maybe, just maybe I will eat before I get on live, okay? But uh, y'all can't, I'm not going to stop drinking, though. I'm not going to stop drinking. Because, you know, to be up here running my mouth like that, I got to stay hydrated, right? So maybe I will. Cormier Pierre said, what's up from Florida? Who else up here? Drink a slim fast drink or something. <laughs> you right though. So actually, you know, you know what, Jonathan Post, you absolutely right. Cause somebody actually suggested that to me the other day. Daniel Williams from Nap Town, Indianapolis, y'all. See, listen, y'all. We got a mixed bag. Let's do another poll. If y'all like when I eat on the live, type 1. If y'all don't like when I eat on the live, type 2. Let's go. If y'all like when I eat on the live, type 1. If y'all don't like it, type 2. Let's see. Type 1, if y'all like it when I eat. Type 2, if y'all don't like it. Let's go. It's roll call, baby. Let's go. And don't be double dipping either. Don't be posted more than once, neither. Let's keep it raw. Let's keep it funky. A lot of people say it once. A lot of people say they like it. No, I see. Give me 420. Y'all are the people. Y'all are the audience. You know, I got to cater to y'all. Without y'all, it will be no me. Evil, my role. Thank you for that. It's a mixed bag. We used to play beaches. Easter City, Detroit. Hey, I was in Easter. Um, East. In, I be saying that name so wrong, but I be down there too sometimes. I'll be down there too sometime. What's up, Ray Clark? DJ Fitler. DJ Fitler. So, uh, uh, so it's like this, y'all. Um, I gotta get ready to roll because I got some crazy prison stories that I need to drop and work on for y'all. Okay. Grimware said, I'm sending this because I have a question. I'm wondering how old you are, sir, to have lived such a story life. Um, BTW, I'm Henry from Cali and I love no homo, your stories and demeanor. Grimware. All right, y'all. Let's do a poll. How old do y'all think I am? How old do y'all think I am in the comment section? Grimware, thank you for that. How old do y'all think I am in the comment section? Post it up. Let's see. Let's go. And we're going to do hot and cold. Citizens, you're, you're warm. Marmar, you scorching hot. Crime mindset, you you cold. Bleed, bleed runner, 50 years old. Oh, you real cold. Um, King Juan. You scorching hot. No homo. Armani, you're, 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 you're hot. Danny Cold World, you're scorching on fire. Gilby, okay, okay, I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put it like this. Yo, uh, hold up. Before I even reveal that, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Bright Runner, you got some explaining to do. Now, I tell you all, all the time, I'm not a man of violence, but I'm going to tell you something right now. You talk about 50 and crown mindset? Oh, y'all, it's on. It's on. Y'all want to play military mind games, huh? 
Y'all wanna, y'all wanna, all right, so y'all wanna do that to me? Okay, you ain't got no hair. Who said I ain't got no hair? Do I gotta do another reveal? Why y'all think I'm bald headed? Do y'all think I'm bald headed? I'm. <laughs> Y'all killing me. Love to know you pull up to the taco house. The tacos on me. All right. Hey, key. Why I'm telling you now, listen. Now, um, I'm, I'm going to call you on that too. Hey, y'all, I ran into King. Um, I ran into King Jaquan at the uh, La Familia's. Uh, uh, I, I ran into him. And La Familia's the, the best taco joint. What's this? Thank you. Thank you. He, um, the best taco joint in Flint, Michigan, okay? Um, now I'm going to tell you something, Jaquan. Let me tell you something. I need the medium, medium tacos with extra tomatoes. With extra tomatoes. And I'm going to let you know, too, when I'm coming up there, too. So let's see. So y'all want to, what's my age? I'm going to tell y'all this. Let me tell you, I'm going to see how many people that actually guessed it right. Um, one, two, three. Three people guessed it right. However, Three people guessed it right. But here's the thing. Um to narrow it down just a little bit more. I'm under I'm not younger than thirty and I'm not older than forty. I'm not older than forty and I'm not younger than thirty. Um, I'm going to put it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people now got it right. Six people now got it right. Seven people now got it right. Seven people got it now right. Now, here's the thing. We're going to do it a little bit more. Eight people now got it right. When I, when I start seeing... Eight people got it right. It's getting real close. So, um, crowd mindset, you way off. So, if you if you think about it, um, we're going to do it one more time. Nope. Jim Bellamy, you off. Okay, we're going to do this like that. He said in another video. I did. I'm going to tell you, the reason why everybody thinking that I'm, <laughs> who, you, ho, oh, 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 did you call me a Vato? I know what a Vato is. Did you call me a Vato? Did you call him, did you call me a Benito? What did you call me? I know a little Spanish. We got 10, 11 people said it. 11 people now got it right. Oh, man. Yo, R. Allen, let me ask you a question. Why do you think that it's 88? Let me ask that. Why Why do you think I was born in 88? Why do you think I was born in 88? Loka me, Loka yams, what's up? Y'all real close. A lot of people done said my age already. Now, now do the math, y'all. King Jaquan said, do the math. If Dante was born in 88, how old is he then? Now y'all got to do the math. Now you, now y'all got to do the math. Hold on, y'all not getting it. <laughs> Look. 
cry, okay, y'all, crown, crown mindset, got it. Read the comment section, crown mindset. Uh, Bobby Romero got it. Marmar got it. Yeah, you're right. My birthday haven't passed yet. Yep, Joseph Rome got it. Denzel Washington got it. Um, but next month I will be thirty five though. Miss Texas T, how do you know my birthday was in April? Yep, you got it. I'm thirty four. Next month I'll be thirty five. Now, the reason why people is wondering like how old Dante is, why why this such a mystery? This is why people was questioning it. And I'm about to show y'all why. This is why people was questioning my age. Because of because I said this. Hold on. I said this. And this is why people was questioning my age. And I'm going to tell y'all um, why I said what I said. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is why people was questioning my age right here. Because of when I said this. Important. Predator inmates. They know that if you go in that shower with no undergarment, when you get in the shower. Hold on. Where that video at? I said, um. Oh, here you go. Here you go. <sighs> this is why people was questioning my age. Hold on. This why. And I'm going to give y'all the explanation. 05, me and my homeboy Al. Back in 05, me and my homeboy Al found ourselves in the MDOC prison system. Back in 05, me and my homeboy Al found ourselves in the MDOC prison system. Back in 05, me and my homeboy Al found ourselves in the MDOC prison system. That is why... People was wondering how old I was. They like, hold on. This dude that in 05. Hold on. And it hold on. 05. 89. No, no, that ain't that wasn't it. That wasn't that video. Yeah, I got a kid. I got a couple of sons. Hold on, that ain't the video. That ain't the video. That's not the video. Where is that video at? Uh is it this one? I think it was a purple passion video. Hold on. Was it this one? Basically, in one... Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. I can't find a video. I think it was a purple passion video. Okay, so... um, In one of my videos, I said... I said, um... What did I say? In one of my videos, I said in 95, I was locked up with this dude named Purple Passion. Okay? I was born in 88. So, in 1995, that would have made me, what, seven years old in prison? Make sure you have your undergarments Hold on. on. It's really important. Predator inmates. They know that if you go in that shower with no undergarments oh, this on, it, no drawers on, and you go in there naked, they know you're new. This, this the video right here. This the video right here. Ninety five. I think I would I would have been six years old. Hold on. Here's the video right here that people was questioning. Like, man, hold on. This dude cannot be. Hold on. Man, what's up with the internet? Got the best internet the money can buy, and it's still buffering. 
Oh, man. There it go. Anyway, I guess it don't want to play. I guess it don't want to um, act right. All right. Hold on. Let me get out of here. Okay. Uh, the internet is wilding out right now, y'all. The internet is wilding out. It'll be the first sign of them saying, oh yeah, I got one, okay? So make sure when you go in that shower, make sure you have your drawers on and a t-shirt or something. You see old timers and repeat offenders, they know when you take a shower, you need to have them drawers on. Stay focused on your business, but be aware of your surroundings. Remember, predators are unlikely to attack you when other people is around. A predator will use the shower time as an opportunity to get close to you. Never, and I say this to the extreme, never accept boxers, t-shirts, or shower slippers while you in that shower room. These are signs of a predator trying to get real close to you. In 1995, I was locked up with this booty bandit by the name of Purple Passion. Pur there it go right there, y'all. <laughs> there it go right there. There it go right there. That, that was a video right there. That 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 was a video right there. Why you in that shower room? These are signs of a predator trying to get real close to you. In 1995, I was locked up with this booty bandit by the name of Purple Passion. These are signs of a predator trying to get real close to you. In 1995, I was locked up with this booty bandit by the name of Purple Passion. Purple Passion was in there for armed robbery and attempted murder. The judge gave him a 45 year sentence. When I came in there, Purple Passion was going on his 19th year while locked up. When you young and white coming into the prison system, you are instantly a target. Organizations are going to have their eye on you. White organizations are going to approach you. They're going to ask you to join them. They're going to ask you, do you want to be a part of what they got going on? If you are young and you are white, my advice to you, roll with them. Because if you don't, you are going to be a target instantly. That's just the way it is. You got purple passion and his particular choice of men loving is young white boys. For the convicts out there, if y'all know, y'all know. How Purple Passion got down. He had a flock of punks while locked up. He had cycled through three or four of them every six months. Now y'all know I give it to y'all real, raw, and funky. So I gotta just tell y'all how it is. You see, when he get tired of messing around with the same old punks, basically blowing their butt out, he wants something new. He wants something tight. That's just how he got out. That's how he was programmed. And I tell y'all all the time, I can't tell another man how to program. So when new inmates would come in, he'd be right there at the gate, watching them come in, picking and choosing which one he might want to devour. And like I told y'all earlier, he loved the young white boys. So in particular, there was this white boy named Steve. Steve would come in there at the age of 17 years old. Steve would find himself in a... Hold up. Jay, Jay, hold on. Uh, Jay Book, listen, I, I gotta say this before I say it because I might be saying it wrong. But Jay Booty, I thank you for that. But no homo, y'all. Stop playing games. I don't know if it's a Jay Body or Jay Booty, but you know I gotta say no homo with that. But I appreciate you, Jay. The justice system was assaulting his grandmother. She told him he couldn't use the car to go out to go see friends. So what Steve decided to do was beat up grandma and put her in a coma. She was fighting for her life. And now, well, his actions landed him up in here with us. So Steve would get off the bus and find himself being eyeballed by a lot of inmates. You know, there was cat calling. Ooh, look at him. Ooh, look at them blue eyes. Oh, I love that blonde hair. I'm going to have fun with you tonight, baby. I'm on a weight pile getting my swole on. And you can just hear them in the distance doing a cat calling. Cat calling is when inmates 
be talking crap to the new inmates that's coming in. They be saying the most foulest, nastiest things that could come out of a human being mouth. You got Purple Passion right there at the gate. And he like, yeah, that's me right there. Oh yeah, that's that's me. I know oh, yeah, that's oh he about what five seven? About a hundred and forty pounds, yeah. Take care of that, that's me. Yeah, winked at him. So white boy Steve, he's standing there just basically shaking. You see these towers, you see these fences, these gates with the barbed wire on it. You see all these men behind these gates calling you, making sexual gestures towards you. You don't know what to think, you don't know what to do. He will find himself on our block. See, Purple Passion, he was on the next block next to us. So when I seen Steve come in there, my heart kind of went out to him because I knew what could happen to him. There was a white gang in our pod that approached him first and basically told him, listen, you want to ride with us? We'll protect you. We'll make sure you eat good in here. We'll make sure nobody mess with you and everything good. He turned it down. He turned that invitation down because when he was in the county jail, he heard about this particular gang. He heard that this particular gang that just approached him usually turned out the new young white inmates. So he declined and they said, all right, you're on your own. For the next three days, nobody bothered him. Then Purple Passion ended up showing up. He slid up in our dormitory. He had no business coming up in there. I don't know how he got in there, but he got in there and he made his way to Steve's cell. I don't know the conversation that took place between him and Satan, but I can imagine that it went like this. Hey, um, hey, you good? You straight? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm straight. Hey, where you from, bro? Oh, I'm from, oh yeah? You know uh, this person, that person? Yeah, 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 I, I know that person. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Let me tell y'all something. I want to stop right here. Check this out. Um, if y'all haven't seen that video, go check it out. Purple Passion, the famous booty band in four video y'all go check that out if y'all haven't seen that um thank you black hippie for that to start polls you can tap the bottom of the chat okay i'm gonna have to check that out now um the reason why i said 95 y'all gotta understand um 88 i was well one 89 two 93, 94, whatever. For seven, eight years old. I really want to see who really be paying attention. I want to see who actually be paying attention to the videos. You know what I'm saying? Just getting the feedback. This is why I said um, in 95. And that's why, I, that was basically it. It really wasn't nothing to it. I was, I guess I got guilty of playing military mind games and y'all caught me red handed. So that's what happened. Um you said to start polls you could tap the bottom of the chat. Okay. Um I'm not signed into my account so I can't I won't be able to do it. But yeah so um and that's another thing. The beginning of this live, though, y'all, um, I told y'all about what happened. When you locked up, your fate is in the hands of these guards. Don't ever get it twisted, y'all. Um, don't ever think that the inmates run the show. They run the show when the guards ain't around. Okay? These guards can torture you. These guards can put you in super bad predicaments. Hey, hey, uh, baby, if you still in the comment section, you see uh, Jim Bellamy said, what happened to Castle? Didn't me and you, we was just talking about that earlier, remember? In the comment section, you remember we were just talking about that, Whitley B, about Castle? Yeah, so um, I don't know what you mean. What happened to Castle? I, I got a couple of um, Castle stories, but um, yeah, man, 
Um, y'all just got to be careful out there, man. When y'all, if you find yourself locked up, and I hope to God none of y'all find yourselves locked up behind them bars, just, just keep your head on the swivel, man. Keep, mind your business. The other day I made a prison live talking about the myths of prison. Um, one of the things is about the dropping the soap thing. I gotta let y'all know. Again, out here in the real in the real world, when they talking about oh don't drop the soap, that's not real. Actually, it's real and it's not real in a way. It's real because if you drop the soap, don't pick it up. Because dudes be in there getting off in the shower. And if you don't know what getting off mean, well, um, I don't know what to tell you. But getting off is getting off. Banging one off in the shower. And um, you better go in there with your shower shoes on or you're going to step on something that you ain't want to step on. Um, so when that soap hit the flow, you better not pick it up. You better not pick it up. Or um, that's on you. Another thing is that when you... um. A booty bandit ain't got nothing to do with you picking up the soap. Okay? A booty bandit ain't got nothing to do with um, your body being all soaked up and you drop the soap and then this booty bandit sweet low that's appear behind you and try to take your manhood. That ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay? A booty bandit Ben would have been trying to press on you. A booty bandit with a bed. Matter of fact, I already told y'all the story. This is how this is how um, a booty bandit operate right here on this last one about Sweet Low about the prison story uh, about the scene right here. This is what they do. This is the whole get down right here. If y'all didn't watch that Sweet Low story, the last one right here, y'all make sure y'all definitely go check that out because this the whole get down. The Booty Band and Sweet Low Prison Story. Make sure y'all go watch that. We done got 7,000 people, 7,400 people, only 700 likes. That means 10% of the people like the video, and that's a problem. We got 7,000 people that watch the video and only 700 likes. This is what I be telling y'all. This is what I be saying. I be telling y'all I'm not a man of violence, but, hey. I'm comfortable. He like, nah, man, chill. I'm, I'm good, man. I don't feel like talking. Sweet Low totally disregarded what Lil Carl was talking about and got to talking about his own encounters out there in the free world. So after about three minutes of this foolishness talk, Carl was like, hey, bro, I'm about to hit the showers right quick before we get on lockdown. Sweet Low was like, man, that's crazy. I was just about to do the same thing, man. It's like we connected in some type of way, man. You be finishing my words. You be in my thoughts, man. That's crazy, man. And then Sweet Low walked out. Now, at this time, y'all, Carl sitting on the bed that's thinking like, man, man, I think dude gay. Man, I think dude gay, man. Something ain't right about dude. Something ain't right about dude, man. He got to thinking about what happened on the way pile when Sweet Low would have his nuts out. He got to thinking about when he was doing the pull-ups, how Sweet Low would get behind him and grab his waist. Then he got to thinking about what just happened earlier at dinner time. At this time, y'all, Sweet Low done made his way down to the showers, but he ain't getting in the shower. He in there waiting on Lil Carl. So Carl get his shower stuff and he head on down to the shower. Sweet Low, hearing Carl's footsteps, he had me up and cut on the shower. Sweet Low was like, hey, bro, you finally made it. Carl was like, man, how long you been up in here? Sweet Low was like, man, I just got up in here. Carl was like, hey, man, check this out. Are you gay? Sweet Low was like, man, hell no, I'm not gay, man. Why would you say something like that? Carl was like, look, man, I just be hearing things, man, about you, man. Dudes be saying little slick stuff, man. I'm just I'm just trying to see what's up. Sweet Low like, man, I told you these dudes are here jealous of me, man. Now, at this time, Sweet Low washing up, he like, Hey, Carl, could you get my back right quick? Could you, could you like, get my back right quick? I can't reach it. Carl was like, man, I'm not about to do that, man. I'm not about to wash your back. What's wrong with you? 
Sweet low turn around like, man, what's the problem, man? I just need for you to get my back. I can't get it myself. Can you look out? Carl was like, no, nah, man, no, nah, I'm good. We're hearing that, y'all. Sweet low whole demeanor change. He was like, man, what's up with you, dog? What's up with you? Why you keep trying to play me like a sucker? I've been helping you train your body. I've been looking out for you on the food tip. And this how you repair me, my nigga? With all this stand off gay talk, man, what's up with you? Carl was like, man, I didn't ask you for nothing, man. Sweet Low was like, you, you sure didn't turn it down neither. Then Carl was like, look, as far as that food tip go, I'll give you that back. As soon as my mom sent me that money, I'm going to give you that back. Sweet Low then started walking towards him. He was like, man, who you talking to? Who you talking to like that? Carl was like, man, bag up, dude. Bag up. Sweet Low was like, man, I don't want no fool. I want you to get on your knees and fix it. Crawl like, man, nigga, watch out. Move. Now, three crips was on their way to the shop. When Sweet Low heard them coming, he backed off. He knew that them crips was not playing no type of games. They didn't condone that type of behavior, and they probably would have did Sweet Low dirty up in there in that shop. So Sweet Low just walk out the shower and go to his cell. Shortly after, Carl go to his cell. Now, Carl in his room panicking. He like, man, this dude got me effed up. He got me effed up. About five minutes, y'all, Sweet Low ended up coming to Lil Carl's cell. He's standing in front of his cell right now. He like, hey, little bro, hey, I apologize, man. Man, that ain't even me, man. You just kind of made me upset, man. I'm kind of going through some things right now, man. And you just really made me mad, man. You know what happened earlier? Th that's what's going on with me, man. When dude tried to play me on the chicken, I ain't mean to take that out on you. Lil Carl like, hey, listen, man. Hey, we straight, man, but, hey, I'm going to give you your commissary back when I get paid, and I, I don't want to talk. I don't want to have no dealings with you no more. Sweet Low like, man, I said I apologize, man. What's up? Carl like, man, hey, man, go on, go on, man. Move up, move around, man. Move around, man. Just just, just, just leave me alone. Sweet Low like, man, dog, I told you that I apologize, man. I'm not about to sit out here and keep apologizing to you. Little Carl like, Man, all right, man, all right, man. I'm going to give you your stuff. When I get my stuff, we good, we good. So then Sweet Low just walk off. Later that night, while the guards was doing a walkthrough, Carl spoke with a guard and told him that he feared for his life and that he wanted to go to the hole. So about two hours later, when we all was in our sales, the guards came through with the transport car and rolled little Carl on the body there. When Carl walked past Sweet Low sale, Sweet Low was standing there looking mad like a mother. About three days were passed while Carl was in the hole when a kite got pushed under his cell door. The words that was on that paper spelled out, Your ass is mine. If you enjoyed this prison story, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't became a member of it. Hey, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, man. Out of there. When Carl walked past Sweet Low Sale, Sweet Low was standing there looking mad like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all all right all right y'all we got another poll we got another poll all right type one if me and sweet low favorite <laughs> type one if, if me and sweet low favor each other type two if we don't I don't know. He like he, he could be my daddy or something. <laughs> Type one, if me and Sweet Low favor each other. Type two, if there's no resentment. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Man, I I I don't see the resemblance. <laughs> I don't I don't see the resemblance, man. Yeah, I I don't see it, man. I I don't see the resemblance. 
I don't see the resemblance, man. Do y'all see the resemblance? I don't see it, man. That I, 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 I don't see it. I, I don't see it at all. I mean, look, he he got a beard for heaven's sakes. I don't got a beard. That I'm just saying, he got a beard. <laughs> hey, listen. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'm done with y'all, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Hey, listen. So, here, here, here go, y'all. Um, Let me tell y'all a little thing about life, okay? I'm going to tell y'all a little thing about life. Um, You got to be able... You got to be able to laugh at yourself, okay? If you can't laugh at yourself, they say laughter is medicine. We already live. We all got our trials. We all got our tribulations, right? We all going through something. Somebody somewhere is always going through something. But if you can't laugh at yourself, because I do it all the time, man. Y'all have no idea. Sometimes I, I be just thinking about some stuff that I done did. And man... I don't know, but some you gotta be able to laugh sometimes, man. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah, that's funny. But let me tell y'all something, right? And and then we gonna get ready to end the live, cause I, I got some things I gotta work on. Um, prison. Grape is not, um, it does happen, but it doesn't happen more often than you would think. Number one, um, the world has changed even in a prison system where you got a lot of gay guys that's willing and wanting to give it up so that, um, there's really no need for men like Sweet Low to do what they do. However, there are rare circumstances where you got that old convict that don't won't want it give it to him easy. Um there's some dudes out there that like to hunt, that like the thrill of the fight, right? Uh, like Damien from Friday. Um You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. It just doesn't happen that way. This is this is something that you got to check out the door from the get, from the jump. If somebody walk up to you, and listen, even if you can't fight, it usually start off real subtle. Um, If somebody come up to you being extra friendly, knowing you don't know them, knowing if y'all was out there in the streets and you would never hang with this individual, don't think that he coming over there to be your friend. Yo, we got somebody in here from South Africa, y'all. Yo, we got the whole globe up in the in the chat room right now, y'all. Y'all hit that like button. Shout out to Africa, y'all. What's your name? Saibula Zimbabwe. Look, y'all know I can't read. I be tearing y'all names up. But shout out to Africa, y'all. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, sometimes. You know, y'all, you did not sometimes, immediately, you got to check that at the door. If a guy come to you and, um, and just, like I told y'all, they do subtle things. When y'all playing basketball, you might get a dude that, that's all up on you, aggressively, like really bumping on you while they, while they trying to check you. You got to be like, yo, chill out, man, bag off, right? Uh, while you're on the weight on when, when you on the weight bench, I tell y'all this in every story. When you on your back and you pumping that iron, right? The dude that's spotting you, his nuts should not be resting on your forehead. You should not be able to look up and this dude penis is right there in your face. Tell him to bag up, man. Yo, 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 yo dog, chill out, man. Bag up. Okay? If you don't say nothing, he going to keep doing it. He going to keep doing, 
He just going to keep escalating and escalating the situation. When you get in that light, lunch line, here we go. <laughs> get right behind you. Right? Oh, bump you. Ooh, my, 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 my bad. My bad, young blood. He getting his feel on. Or when y'all dap each other like that and he bring you close. Come on, man. So y'all stop playing, man. Some And I'm just be real. Some of these cats like that. Some of these dudes just get out like that. Um, You better open your mouth. Check it out the door. Sometimes you don't even have to be violent with these dudes. Because uh, another reality of a, of a bandit is that they 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 rather not go after somebody that will fight back. Because it's like, yo, if I try to violate this dude, he could potentially stab me and take my life. So I'm not gonna go after him. Let me let me try to push my 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 politics on this dude right here and see how far I can go with it. And then well, hey, it's all it's I don't know. It's it's crazy. I don't know. But you got, you got, so you got the long con and the short con. And y'all supposed to have been off live, man. I, psh, come on. I supposed to have been off live, but I'm going to go ahead and share this with y'all because people keep asking me to talk about this. Like I'm a booty bandit or something. Like, like I got the rules. Booty, booty bandit 101. This is the course. Y'all get y'all pen and paper ready. For some reason, people just think that I'm just the philosopher of the booty bandits. So get your paper and get your pencils. If you find yourself in prison, get your pencil and paper and write down Dante philosophy about booty bandits. So you get it where if you got a guy that's being too friendly to you, you don't know this man, you never met this man a day in your life, and he keep coming to you trying to give you things, Trying to give you coffee, trying to give you honey buds, trying to give you soups, uh, Mountain Dews, deodorant, t-shirts, whatever the case is. He trying to look out for you. That dude ain't looking out for you. He wants something from you. Um, everybody, even if you prison rich, right? Even if you jail rich, you still um, ain't all the way good, Okay. You're not all the way still good. So you just not being nice for no reason. So if you find yourself locked up and you got a cat that's steady giving you stuff or offering you stuff, turn it down, man. Because I'm telling you, um, you think you might even got your people that's going to send you something. And you're like, well, I'm just going to I'm just going to hold this down. I'm going to hold it down for a minute, this commissary, and I'm going to pay you back. But when it's time to pay back, he don't want it back. Matter of fact, he like, nah, I don't want that. I, I want something else. And he's like, what you mean you want something else? Nah, uh, well, listen, um, while locked up, you know, uh, uh, man, I'm going to just be real with you, man. I ain't never getting out of I ain't never getting out of here. You know, I got two life sentences, man. I ain't I ain't getting out of here, man. And um, you know, it's one of them things where you watch my back, I watch your back. And um, you know, we can take take care of each other needs up in here. And then now you like what? Now you done heard of Dante done Dante done told y'all already about it. Now you like, dang, Dante was right. This way he dang. So what should I do? I'm gonna tell you what to do, man. Um, get ready to crash out. Get ready to crash out. Throw it all away. Um, because it goes two ways. When you locked up, and because it it might not go the way that you think that it might go, if you take off on them. What about in this conversation that y'all are having, he pulled out that sword of justice on you. And like, listen, we going to do this one way. It's but Actually, it's two ways, but it, whatever way you want to do, we gonna, it's, gonna, it's still going to happen. So how you want to play it? Either we can get violent and, and we get to it or just let me do it, right? I ain't never going home. So and this this is our programming. What we, what we doing? Cause I don't want the commissary. 
I don't want the commissary. I want you. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. So, sometimes I... <laughs> if you can't fight and you don't think you can beat this man, you better run up out that cell hollering and screaming. Guards, help! Help! He trying to... He trying to rape me. Guards, help. He trying to get me. Guards. Guards, help me. You better go out there and, and scream. I don't know. Better do something. Um, Another another misconception about these booty banders, right? They not going to attack you while everybody around. So always, never, never be alone with these dudes, Okay. Always be aware of your surroundings. This is why I tell y'all. This is why I tell y'all all the time. Don't be drinking Dante's special recipe while locked up. That jungle juice. Don't be in there drinking Dante's special recipe. Okay? Because when you get to drinking Dante's special, special recipe, you get intoxicated. You will start making bad decisions. You will be off your swivel. You are open up to all type of um, miscreant, diabolical, um, brain break, brain broken, homosexual activity type of things. So stop drinking Dante's um, passion drink, okay? Because you might get through off your swivel and you might end up in a bad situation. And yes, I was selling, I was selling drinks. They was calling me Juice Man. I told y'all this story somewhat before already. They was calling me Juice Man, but I had to get in and I had to get on the hustle real fast because I wasn't getting no help on the outside. At first, I was stacking up my juices, and then I started making Dante's special recipe. You know, I was selling cups. I was selling a, a cup. A cup of Dante special recipe. I needed I needed a pack of soup and a bag of hot Cheetos. That's how I was programming. I needed a cup of soup and a bag of hot Cheetos if you wanted a cup of Dante special recipe. Right? You can get it on ice or you can get it dry. So um with saying all that, you know, you just gotta be careful, man. Watch your back. Um, don't accept nothing from nobody. Even if it's somebody that you knew out there on the streets, but they've been down for five to ten years. You don't know that man. You don't know what that man up been through while locked up. You think you know him. You get in that cell with him, and you think that y'all was homies out there in the in, in the streets, but he been locked up for five, ten years now. And uh, you like, oh my boy, he like, oh man, hey man, you get in here with me. Hey, this my dog. Hey, deputy. Hey, let it pull him in here with me. This my dog. Right? All right. All right. Yeah, this your dog. While y'all in there talking, while y'all, this is a movie Um, I was watching Um, some years back. It was a scene just like this. Uh, I forgot. I think it was most deaf. Most deaf played in it, I think, where he got in the cell with his homeboy. And um, dude ended up kissing him. And he was like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, man, wait, wait. No, man, what you mean what I'm doing? He tried to kiss him again. And he was like, yo, we don't do that. I'm not. What the heck? Yo, my neighborhood is crazy. You always hear random stuff. Man, like, what the heck is going on? Like, my neighborhood is so crazy, man. You just hear random people yelling and screaming. Like, what? We're not even in the hood. Like, it ain't nowhere safe. <laughs> hey, look, man. Whenever I'm in Flint, Michigan, man. I don't know, man. Like, you just hear random stuff, man. It's like somebody is literally screaming at the top of their lungs, man. Like, what the hell is going on out there? Man, these niggas here. Like, come on, man. Man, what the heck is that? Who is that? <sighs> yeah.
these niggas here. <laughs> Man. So, um, when I lived in Atlanta, we had a record studio in the same building as an HIV prevention program for young gay men. I got hit on by a list of R&B singers. You should show us some of the food you used to make while you were locked up. Teach us how to cook like an M.A. Ari, absolutely not. That ain't happening. Oh, yeah, it's called Prison Song. Thank you, Rich, Richard Bennett. Yeah, that movie is called Prison Song that I was telling y'all about. Yeah, with Q-Tip. Absolutely not, Ari. I will not. You know what? I might. I might. It's not off the table. I might. It, it it all depends. I might. But, um, yeah, man. Just because you know somebody out there in the streets, man, that don't mean that's your homeboy. That's, that don't mean you going in there, you don't know what he been through. You ain't know what, what done happened to him or what he done did to somebody. And now, he you, you done dropped your guard. Matter of fact, here's a true story. I'm telling you all this because... Oh. I'm telling y'all this story because I done seen it happen in real time. You, you, dude, good in there. He thinking like everything is sweet. Oh, this my dude. I knew him from the street. He solid. He this. He that. Whole time his homeboy, a whole punk. The gay. He a gay type. He the gay dude. He the he a boy, but he looked like he like a dude, but he not. He really full blown gay, and he in there talking to him, and he nah. That's that story too explicit. I ain't even gonna tell y'all that story. Even thinking about that, let me get get that out there. Get that out of my head. All I'm gonna tell y'all is this, um. I'm just, I, I'll tell y'all. I ain't going to tell y'all the whole story. I'm just going to get straight to the point. This would be the first and only time Dante ever was in long-winded and gay and went straight to the point. Long story short, um, the the gay guy that was in there, which was the dude homeboy that he thought that wasn't gay, thought he thought he was straight up, he eventually made his friend violate him the 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 gay punk that was locked up basically made his homie have sex with him under the guise of i'm gonna push that knife on you i'm gonna kill you if you don't f me that's that's what it was long story short um he made him have sex with him and the aggressor was the receiver. If man, something hold on y'all. Hold on, man. What is going on out there? What? I don't know, man. Somebody I don't know, somebody out there hollering and screaming. What the heck is going on? These cats out here. I'm telling y'all, man, these dudes, it's, hey, I don't know, I don't know, it's crazy everywhere though, y'all, but I ain't gonna lie, I do like, um, I do, if Atlanta wasn't so, I like the old Atlanta when I was down there, I don't know nothing about this new Atlanta, this new Atlanta is weird to me. But if I could move anywhere, I, I would want to move back down there. But Atlanta different, man. It's different now. It ain't the same. It's, 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 it ain't the same. I miss that Southern hospitality. I miss that. Well, I mean, you still got your riffraff when I was down there. So I was a part of the riffraff. But, you know, people wasn't so... Your, your, your fellow man, your fellow your fellow dark-skinned, brown-skinned man didn't look at you with attempted murder on their mind. 
They looked at you as a brother. Like, oh, what's up, family? What's up, fam? Um, what's up, shouty? What's going on? Right? I miss them days where that real Southern hospitality, where me coming from out of town and getting real love, right? Me mobbing the neighborhood, walking through the neighborhood, meeting all the people all through there. You know what I'm saying? I, I miss that. Nowadays, like my cousins, they, they be telling me like, man, D, you don't want to come down here, man. This ain't the same place that you that you knew about. This ain't the same place. I don't know, man. It's, I don't know. But I be wondering, is it really like the Atlanta people, though? Or is it like people coming from like Chicago or other places? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, Ari, listen. When I say, when I, when, when me and my homeboy Al, when we, when we got down there, and I say we was walking the neighborhood, I, I broke off by myself and was walking the neighborhood. And, you know, dudes was coming out there, seeing who I was, greeting me, and all this and that, you know. I was just getting a lot of love down there. Here I go out of town. You know, it, it, I, yeah, I was in, uh, it was, it was a, it was a cul-de-sac in Coverton called Settlers Grove. Anybody, hey, Jonathan Post, ain't you from, um, Georgia? Did you say that? I was in Coverton. It was called Settlers Grove. That's what it was. It's a neighborhood called Settlers Grove. Jonathan Post, do you, you know what I'm talking about? You, you from that area, Jonathan Post, it's called Settlers Grove. Yeah, that's, that's where I was, that's where I was at for a minute. Yeah, that's where I was at for a minute. Man, I, I, I got so much love out there. That That's going to be an Atlanta story for y'all, too. Fresh off the Greyhound. But, um... Yeah, I just, I just, man, it's like, people got to understand that, you know, we only got one life to live, and that's why I hate when I hear about people losing their life over nothing, you know, over gut, by, by the gun, you know what I'm saying? We got one life, and people out here living like you can just press reset on the Xbox or the PlayStation, once you go and you go and then a lot of people out here losing their life over some over stuff that's not even real. You know, I can understand if somebody violated your mama, violated your sister, violated your kids, or just did something that's so unforgivable. But niggas is dying over weed. Dudes is dying over little money. And they say, oh, it's the principle. Oh, I killed that nigga because he owed me twenty dollars. It's the principle behind it. What the? What you? Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. I got y'all. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I got y'all. What you mean the principle? So your principles and your morals. Hold up. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Your principles and morals warrant warrant you. To take somebody's life because they owe you twenty dollars is the principle behind it. You right. You right. You got it. Social media beefs. You right. Social media beefs. When 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 was it that? When was it that Dante? Somebody make a video about Dante. Talk about all oh, if you, you ain't real. You this, you that. I slap Dante when I see him, and all this and all that. Right. Um. Just say all type of crazy things. Never met me a day of my life, right? 
And then some reason, somehow, some way, we end up running into each other. And then somebody end up losing their life. Um, that's an extreme case. It's rare, but it happens. But um, like in Chicago, in Atlanta, especially on the south side of Chicago, when I be there, don't nobody know that I'm there. I get in, do what I got to do, and get right out. Um, the south side of Chicago is, is very unpredictable. It's very unpredictable. It's, 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 it's very unpredictable. And it, it always wasn't like that. I remember going there in the summertime to hang with my cousins, right? I actually posted went there not too long ago, and they said, yo, don't even come. Don't even come. Don't even come down. I'm like, what's going on? Man, you already know. I'm like, all right. But anyway... I, I just wish we can get back to that loving each other. Um, where did we go wrong at y'all? Now he, here you go, there you go preaching. Now he about to start preaching. Here you go. Where did we go wrong at? How did we come from sharing the same type of pain and misery on them slave plantations? You know where master come out there with the whip and start whipping ass, right? When you got the the women, the women getting violated by the overseers, and the, and the men couldn't do nothing about it, right? And when and when our when the kids when the woman gave birth and then they sold a kid that was nine or ten years old to another plantation, never to be seen or heard from again. Families getting ripped apart. Y'all can't marry, but we do it in secret anyway. We get the broom and we jump the broom. And then after we jump the broom, husband and wife, four days later, master looking at her, your wife. Oh, she thick. She got some ass. I'm about to hit that. Yo, Sophia, come on. Come on over here to master's headquarters. And the, and the new husband... Can't do nothing about it. And when y'all and the other men, they feel that same pain, right? But now we call them women bitches, hoes, right? Thoughts. How did we how did we come how did we come from sharing that same pain? To now, how did we come from just that love of all of us a family we all in the same struggle till now oh that's a bitch she a hoe she a hoe you mean to tell me uh for my dudes out there that like sex and different women you ain't a hoe neither i mean what really is a hoe what is a hoe I thought I was a gardening tool. But the niggas twisted it up and made it a derogatory word to put it on women that like to have sex a lot with different men. But us men, not myself, the old me, the dog me, 10, 20, 10, 11 years ago me, I was a hoe, right? Who am I to say, oh, oh, that old girl, she a hoe. She just, she just F about four, five dudes in one week. And last week, she F three dudes. Nigga, if you could, nigga, you would screw three, four, five different girls a day. Nigga, what you mean? So if she a hoe, then what that make you? Y'all, we got to stop playing military mind games. Because cause in reality, we all got a past. We all got skeletons in our closets. Some greater than others. I ain't finna sit up here and put all my business out there. Y'all put y'all's out there first, then I throw mine's out there. Right? But I'm gonna tell y'all something though. We done lost sight. We done lost, I say we, I mean the human race, we have lost sight. 
Because, yo, everything that was wrong, follow me. Everything that was wrong is now right. And if you speak out and you don't um, agree with the wrong that's being right, <laughs> that's made right, <laughs> you the problem. You the crazy one. You the one is oh you're so social um you're so you're so social insensitive. Man, you niggas here. <laughs> hey y'all, we losing this battle. <laughs> oh, we losing this battle. I can tell y'all that now. We the battle is over. <laughs> the war is over, man. I'm waving the red flag. I'm done. I'm just gonna say this though. Um, stay, people stay in your, stay out of people's bedrooms, man. People, keep your sexual preferences in your bedroom. The world don't need to know what you doing in your bedroom, because that's what it's really all about, is, 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 is how niggas giving it up in the bedroom. If y'all really think about it, if you really think about it and peel back the, you don't even got to peel back the layers. It's all about who's screwing who. I don't have to accept nor I don't care what you're doing in your bedroom. I don't know. I just know we living in some crazy times. Dante might wake up tomorrow and say that I identify as a lion, a, a, a green lion. And y'all have to accept me because this is who I am. I've been feeling like I was a green lion from the since I was a boy. I y'all I'm coming out the closet. Yep. This is Dante's coming out. Watch how watch how my haters try to chop this video up and try to make me look bad. Dante's coming out the closet. Alright? If everybody was wondering, it's 2023. I'm tired of hiding. I'm coming out. I identify as a green lion. I've been feeling this way since I was a child. I know that I, I identify as a green lion. And this is who I am. And if y'all don't accept me, then something wrong with y'all. I'm not messed up in the head. Y'all are because I identify as a green lion. I guess I never woke up out of my imaginary phase but it is what it is y'all hit that like button but y'all know what i don't even I, I i don't i'm gonna be honest y'all i don't i don't judge um them type of people okay i i, I don't judge them type of people and i'm gonna tell y'all why um a lot of them people because they are people a lot of them people been violated as a child at a young age. And when a child get violated like that, um, that turns into trauma. Okay? And trauma can translate to a child um, acting out in a certain way that people don't understand. And they think that, oh, well... A man touched me, so I guess I guess this is the way. I guess this is real. I guess this is how it's supposed to be. And that behavior was never corrected. So they grow up thinking, like, yo, this is just what that is. And all along, it was just trauma and misguided, misguidance. The, the, the scripture says that um, if you love, if you love your child, you must... Not spare the rod. You must correct your child. If I love you, Irie. If I love you, R. Allen. Denny. Cold World. No homo, y'all. Stop playing games. Whitley. If I love you, then I'm going to correct you. If I see you running 100 miles per hour and I know that there's a cliff right there that you can't see. If I love you, I'm going to scream at you. I'm going to bark on you. So you don't go down there and meet your demise. But that's a whole. I'm telling y'all, y'all can't. I'm telling y'all when the podcast come out, 
this Sunday, y'all better be there. I'm telling y'all, it's going to get crazy. Rick Blackwell, what's happening? Um, And I'm going to tell y'all something too. And I, I just got to keep it real raw and funky with y'all right now. I noticed something. I have tried. And I'm not speaking for the mass majority of that community. But what I done came to realize is that if you, there's a line that's drawn. You can't compromise with these people. You cannot compromise and try to um, understand them. Because they will allow you, they allow you to, they, they will allow a pathway for you to understand them and try to compromise. But the moment you try to say that you are who you are, being a straight individual, that's where the problem comes at. They ain't trying to hear that. Nah, they ain't, they don't want to hear that. Oh, Dante, like, like the other time, like the other day, right? So this dude, this gay dude, right? He was like, you always talking about you love women. You love women. So you like trans women? I said, hold up. We not about to play these military mind games. He's like, no, you say you love women, so that means you gay. I said, okay, l l let's talk about it. So I like women, so that makes me gay. Yeah. I said, okay, how, how am I gay? Because you like women and trans women are women, so that makes you gay. I said, you know what? You niggas here. First of all, first of all, a woman is a woman. A trans woman is a trans woman, which is a man that is a woman now. But the beginning was this was a man. I mean, even besides the fact that I'm married, we're not about to play these military mind games. If I'm just going to put this out one way, and this is going to be the last time. Dante is a heterosexual man. That means I only rock one way. There's only one way with me. Okay? This might rhyme a little bit. There's only one way with me. And I'm rocking with Whitley. And that is a um um uh, that is a natural born woman. Not a boy that was born that was trapped supposedly in a boy's body with a girl mind. If they want to play them type of military games. I like a girl that was born a girl. That I can go look at her pictures and see that at the age of one years old, she was a girl, three years old, five years old, ten years old, twenty years old. Right? Y'all better stop playing this military mind games. Cause somebody gonna get hurt. Somebody gonna get hurt bad. I'm gonna tell y'all something, then we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna roll out. Somebody, somebody, um, so I'm debating with the dude talking about oh you gay you um because you like women i said all right i said let me let, let me let me say this in the future we will be able to pick the dna and take out um the bad genes in our children in the near future that's going to happen that's a fact we'll talk about that on the on the podcast too in the future we will be able to extract bad DNA out of our kids. You know, you would have it where you would have it where you can take a kid that got bronchitis, asthma, cancer, all that. I don't want my kids having brown eyes. I want my kids to have green eyes. Okay, cool. We'll do all that. Now, let's say you find a gene. Let's say that the scientists find a gene that they um call the gay gene, right? A gay gene, a homosexual gene. Let me ask y'all a question. Let's just keep it funky. Let's keep it funky. You can change the eye color of your kids. You can change because you women don't like us, dude, with them big nose. Yeah, I got a big nose. I can smell real good with my big lips, right? I got a big mouth, right? 
Some women be like, ugh, I don't want my son have no big ass nose. Uh-uh, let's tone that nose down, right? You can do all that, right? Shout out to the niggas with the big nose and big lips. We in here, y'all, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, you got it where you you can literally make your child. Now, what if they find the gay gene? Are you going to say, nah, leave that there? Or you're going to be like, you know what? Nah, I this is a boy. I want it to be a boy. Or this is a girl. I want this to be a girl. Y'all tell me. Let's not play these military mind games. We done went from um, he got his payback in prison. We done went all over the place in his life. But yeah, let, let's talk about that. That's all I want to say. That's all I'm saying. And I don't want to hear none of that, oh, just leave it there. You know what? I'm not going to get political. I'm not. I'm definitely not. You know what? We the Church is an independence. All right, y'all. Now we finna get to, not, now we finna get there. The problem is this, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. Somebody asked me for love advice. He said, man, how did you know? How did you know your wife was your wife? And so on and so forth. How do I find me a good wife? All right. I said, I'm going to be real with you. You might find her in the church. Then again, you might not. Um, a lot of the women in the church are freaks. And I don't got nothing against them at all. But then there is some good women. But here's the key to it. If a woman do not fear God. Right? Hold on. I got y'all. If a woman does not fear God. If she don't have the fear of God. Inside of her. She's liable to do anything. If a woman really love God. That would stop her from cheating on you. That'll stop her from doing foul stuff behind your back because it ain't her fear of you. She fear God, and that'll stop her from doing things. Okay, but at the, on the flip side of that, you got to make sure you get right. You can't come to your woman, or she are holy and sanctified, and and she and she really love God and want to serve God, and do her knowing, do her knowing that the hierarchy. And not on no slaves type of stuff, but the hierarchy is God, the the husband, the wife, then the kids. And since she respect that, right? Since she love and fear God that much, she understand that your guidance and your correction come from the father. And you're going to guide and lead her. So in turn, you lead the kids. But sometimes y'all get it twisted out here, man. And I know y'all be like, oh, there you go. Finna start talking about. There you go. Here you go. Talking about um, are we trying to bash the man? No, I'm not bashing the man. Matter of fact, I am bashing the man. Because it's like this. A lot of you dudes get it twisted. A woman is not our property. A woman is not our property. They are our helpmeets. They help us. Yeah, they help us. The scripture says that if two, two is better than one. If a man fall in the field and he by himself, who's going to help him up? But if he have a partner, then his partner shall help him up. Yo, it's already hard out here in life. It's hard out here already in life. Um, If you got a good person on your side that's helping you, helping you whether it's financially, um, motivate you to get up and do something in life, um, they holding you down. If you one of them dog ass niggas that got a female that that's out there that you know she'll do everything. You done cheated on it, done burnt her many times, done gave a gondoria cause you just can't keep it home. But she always there for you. You need to wake up, cause nigga, you gonna wake up. You're gonna be in your fifties and your sixties. Your your bread done ran out, so you can't trick no more. Right? And then that woman gonna be gone. Left your ass. Now you lonely. 
But all that time, that woman was sticking, sticking behind you, sticking, st and that's all you can do. You niggas better wake up, man. It's, yo, we in 2023. It ain't about to get better. Oh, no. Nah. Welcome to the Church of Dante. It's not about to get better. Oh, y'all thought I was going to tell y'all. Y'all thought that I was going to tell y'all that everything is going to get better. Everything is going to be okay. Is that what y'all telling me? That's what y'all thought I was going to come tell y'all and give y'all that prosperity gospel, right? Nah, we ain't doing that. Not today. But check this out. This is what we is going to do. Since we is at the church of Dante right now, y'all pastor can... can Pastor collect the collect look at look at the look at the picture. Pastor collection plate. It's tithes and offering times, y'all. Dante got child support. He got rent. He got consumers. Um, I drive a a, a Yukon, the big boy, the XL, and it, it costs hundred and twenty to fill that gas tank up. Pastor collection plate. The Dante show is right there, y'all. Y'all see it? Right. Hold up. Right there. That's the collection plate right there. It's time for y'all to sow your um, tithes and offerings. I'm not going to tell y'all that if y'all uh, sow your tithes and offerings, that God is going to multiply by 20-fold. No. When you send me that money, I'm going to go pay my child support. I'm going to go pay my, my energy bill. I got to pay the internet bill. Okay, I got to keep the Wi-Fi going so I can go live for y'all. So, the collection plate is up. It been up. Y'all ain't got to wait to Sunday. Y'all ain't got to wait to Sunday. It's right there. Uh, y'all see the logo? Uh, the cash app right there. The Dante Show. And yes, there's three W's. It is going to show up. Dante Productions. Y'all ain't got to wait to Sunday. It's right here right now. Come on. Pass that collection plate, and I don't want no change. I don't want no change. Don't put no quarters in there. I need a dollar and up. A dollar and up. Okay? Whether you give me $1 or $1,000, or you little, or you rich people out there, you can drop a, a $10,000 in there. It's all welcome. It's all welcome. Come on, y'all. I got to eat. I'm hungry. Come on, man. Let's stop playing these military mind games. Come on. I got I got child support. I got a car notes. I got um consumers. I got I don't get food steps, so I gotta pay out of pocket. Um what else? I got a whole bunch of bills. So Pastor Dante, right, is telling y'all to pass that collection plate. Y'all stop being stingy. Stop being stingy. Because I'm going to, matter of fact, we're going to start sending y'all emails just in case y'all forgot to uh, bless the cash app. Are we going to find you? Oh, pastor, pastor going to make sure that y'all, I'm going to send an old lady to y'all. Y'all make sure y'all take care of the pastor. Come, Y'all make sure y'all take care of the pastor. Okay? Don't, we, we take care of our pastor. The unlicensed counselor, thank you for that. Um, uh, hey, did you, um, what's that? Shania, Abar, Cobra, Commander, Jose Crack, Armani, Ari, did, did, did y'all make sure y'all take care of the pastor? Did, did y'all put a little something there for the pastor? Make sure y'all put a little, he grandbaby, who, who up, who else up in here? Who else up in here? Joshua with Lawson. Give me a grandbaby. Here, here go a dollar. Put a little, put that in there for the pastor. There, here go a peppermint. There you go, baby. Come here. Nisha, come here. Go go put that in there for the pastor. Here go a peppermint. Oh, you can't say nothing about my pastor. That's my pastor. Right? Come on, y'all. Let's stop playing game. Y'all... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> get the money on I'm old and out the loop. Where can I say this money order? Don't worry. Uh, I, I'm the lady. It's announcement. Y'all know in church, it's announcement time. Um, uh, we got the old lady. Jonathan, thank you for that, baby. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Here you go. Thank you for that, Jonathan Post. Thank you. Here you go. 
Now, uh, for the morning announcement, um, y'all, y'all, we looked at the offerings from last week, and Pastor Dante ain't gonna say nothing, but I'm gonna say it. These lights, when Pastor be talking, these lights gonna go out. Um, Pastor need to get here to 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 preach to y'all to y'all sinners, and he can't get here. And y'all don't want Pastor to go to jail for not paying his child support. She got. Put all my business out there. Y'all don't want pastor to go to jail for not paying the child support. So y'all make sure y'all bless the pastor. Okay? Come on, yeah. Yeah, we need a new <laughs> Yeah, we need a new roof for the child. <laughs> Tony Gross, thank you for that. There go Carlito. Thank you for that. Yeah, pastor new pastor need a new roof for the church. <laughs> Look. So, listen, thank y'all for passing the collection to play it around and blessing Pastor. We'll see y'all next Sunday, all right? God bless y'all. Y'all want some peppermints? Here, here go, here go peppermint, baby. Come here, let me get some sugar. So, again, y'all, um, we just got to get, y'all, we almost three hours in. Dante show can talk. I got to go pick the kids up soon. I I see that. Carlito, 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 baby. Thank you. Thank you. This, Carlito and Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Yo, Jonathan and, and unlicensed counselor. Yeah, that is going to the new building fund. Okay, it's going to the fun. And make sure, hey, we're going to pass another collection plate around later on. Because we have a Sunday dinner at the church. And, and y'all know we got to get that chicken and all that because food done went up. But hold on, do you want, uh, our Allen, you want a peppermint? Here, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. He he go, our Allen, come here. Open your mouth. There you go. There you go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no homo. But uh that's crazy. Oh, Destin for greatness. Thank you, baby. Oh, thank come here. Let me see your forehead, baby. Mm, come here, come here. Mm, thank, there you go, baby. Thank you, baby. God bless you. God gonna multiply that a thousand fold, baby. You're gonna have two thousand dollars going to your bank account, okay? I got you, baby. Come, give me the uh, give me a grand baby. Let me get another kiss. Here go a peppermint for you. Look, my mouth all dry, lips getting all white. I need some water. Hey, give me the apple juice. Yeah. Yeah, I got the apple juice, y'all. My fault. Hold on, this apple juice don't smell right. Is this apple juice? Okay. Okay, that's some that's some good apple juice. Hold up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Joshua, don't do that. Joshua, don't do that. Don't do that, Joshua. <laughs> hey, Joshua, I know you really rock with me, Joshua. I know you really do. I know you do. For you to say that, you, you caught me. Hey, listen, I'm going to need for y'all to stop um, watching my videos. And really paying attention because Joshua was just blasting me all the way out with that. You got to, hey, don't do that, Joshua. You, you you exposing me. You can't do that. You remember that? <laughs> Wait, what did you do? <laughs> hey, Joshua, come on, man. You got to stop doing that, man. You, you got to stop doing that. You got to, you got hey, I'm getting exposed today. A lot of y'all don't even know what's going on. In the comment section, when when dudes say certain things and women say certain things in the comment section, it's because they done caught me saying something in one of my videos and um uh, they put me out on blast. But um uh, hey, listen, hey uh Josh, Josh, will take this out. Um, I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna have you dying. If you liked it, that video that you talk about, we ain't gonna talk about it. Just know. I got a video that's coming out, and I'm going to have you dying, all right? But with that, y'all, I got I to get ready. I got to get ready to go. 
with all with saying all that, here goes some more peppermint for y'all. Right? And um oh yeah, the butterscotch too. They do be having a butterscotch too. Um with that, shout out to everybody in the comment section. Shout out to everybody that been hitting that like button. Shout out to everybody that blessed that super chat. Shout out to everybody that blessed the cash app. Um, tonight, I'm not going live because I have a lot of work to do. I got a lot of prison stories that I got to record. So I'm not going live tonight. Um, I might go live Saturday at 8. Yeah, I'm going to go live tomorrow at 8, though. I'm going to go live tomorrow at 8. So y'all make sure y'all be in attendance. Saturday at 8 o'clock, I'm going live. Um, Eastern time, New York time, Michigan time. So with that, um, ask Jesus to forgive y'all for y'all sins, just in case we don't meet. Um, no way, Jose. I love you too. No homo, y'all. With that. <laughs>